What's up? This is T Briz from Briz Beats and T Briz Rock Instrumentals. Today we're gonna make a simple boom bap beat, taking influence from Mob Deep's track "Survival of the Fittest." We are not going to be using samples. We're not recreating this beat either. We're just gonna take influence from it and make a dark boom bap beat without samples. All right, first let me play the final output of what we'll be making today. Here it is. Let's listen. All right, there it is. It's a really simple beat that's got a vibe. I'm not gonna play the Mob Deep track here today because I don't want to get any copyright strikes on my YouTube channel. So if you've never heard Survival of the Fittest by Mob Deep, make sure you go check that out. That's it for the intro. Let's get into the tutorial. All right, we got a new project open. First thing I want to do is set the tempo. One of the things about Survival of the Fittest is the sample that they used in the beat has a higher tempo at around 110, and then they slowed it down to about 96 BPM. So I'm gonna take influence from that, and when we write our melody here, we're gonna write it in 110, and we're gonna do something to slow it down later. So we got the tempo set at 110, let's add a piano. And you know what, let's just go with FL keys for this one. It's already set on grand piano, let's just leave it. All right, let's talk about the piano melody. So again, we're taking influence from Survival of the Fittest, not copying it. So we're looking for characteristics of the piano melody to influence us. The things that really stand out about that track is the piano melody has like a dark, evil sounding vibe to it. So we want to use notes like that. If you know music theory, maybe something in a minor scale or a Phrygian scale, whatever that is. I don't know, I even had to Google it myself. You can use your ears. Sometimes if you have a good ear, you'll just figure out what sounds dark and what sounds evil. So let's mess around. Let's play some notes to start. So I guess why not, let's just start on C5. Let's uh, pull this out a bit. Okay. So we're gonna really start simple and just use like three or four notes. All right, let's try that. Let's throw the metronome on since we don't have any drums yet. That sounds pretty good, but you know what? I think this is where you can just experiment. I think it'll work out well like this. Yeah, that's working for me right now. I think that's got an evil enough vibe and it's simple enough that we could throw something else on top of it. Now let's throw some extra like melody on top of this as well. And I'm going to speed up through this just to show you what actually comes out at the end. So I'll speed ahead to where the notes are actually in. All right, I got a decently sounding evil type melody going on here. Let's listen to what it sounds like. I mean, compared to Survival of the Fittest, this is... A completely different type of melody if you ask me because there's a lot more notes there's a lot more movement there's a lot more melody but you know what let's go with it like i said we're not trying to copy it cool so let's leave those notes let's close out of here and now let's try to get it to sound gritty let's add some effects to this and while we're at it let's just left click and drag over all these and then right click on insert one channel routing route selected channels starting from this track there we go now our channels are routed to our inserts to make sure that's playing through yep it's all good so what are we going to do to add some grit to this um well first of all let's just throw an eq on here and see what that looks like i'm going to roll off some of the low end and maybe even pull down the high just a little bit I just don't want that in there right now. So let's get rid of those. And next, let's add some reverb directly to the track because this sounds really prominent. Let's go a fruity reverb too. These keys are just like really in your face right now, if you notice that. And I wanna soften them up a bit. So let's turn the wetness up and maybe even bring the dry down a bit. Right, I think that's already adding some extra ambience and even a little bit more of an evil feel to him just by doing this. 
Let's keep it simple. Let's not overdo it at this step. We'll kind of leave it where it is right now and we'll move on to the next piece. So let's go ahead and add fruity fast distortion to this. Let's listen to it. Okay, yeah, really overdoing it. So we're gonna dial it in a bit. Okay, we dialed in some fruity fast distortion to saturate this, make it sound distorted, make it sound older, pretty much make it sound like crappier, for lack of a better term. Let's add another effect. Uh, this one is something that is not stock. I want to add Sketch Cassette 2. As far as Sketch Cassette is concerned, this actually is a plugin that I bought and paid for. It doesn't come stock with FL Studio. If you like it, you want to buy it, go for it. But there's also free plugins out there that do what this plugin does. You can look for tape, free tape saturators, free analog tape distortion, free analog tape plugin, something like that. And you'll be able to find something, hopefully. Try to give it like an analog tape sound while we're at it. The default doesn't sound bad, but let's play around with a couple of the other ones and pick one out. All right, after listening to a few of them, I think we're just going to go with this one, the Radio Shack preset. Let's listen to it with Sketch Cassette on there now. And I'm going to turn the metronome off because it's kind of interfering with just hearing the piano on its own. So here's that. All right, I think we're good on the piano melody as far as its MIDI form is concerned. We created it in MIDI, but now we want to do something special with this. Let's open up our playlist. Let's rename this too while we're at it. Piano MIDI. Let's pull it out here. We're going to right click on track one. We're going to consolidate this track from track start is fine. Tail. We're going to cut the remainder. We're going to make sure our effects are on. Check out these settings. We'll hit start. There we go. Now our MIDI is an audio file. So essentially we created our own sample on top of that. It automatically grouped and muted our MIDI file here, but to be honest, we don't even need that anymore for this project. You can keep it in yours if you want. I'm going to delete it, and I'm also going to delete this. There it is. It's an audio file now. Let's get out of audio. Let's go to all. I've got channel six selected. I got insert six down here. I'm going to right click channel routing route selected channels to this track. There's our audio playing through. All right, we got that routed. All right, now we want to lower the tempo. But before we lower the tempo, we have to come into our audio track mode, change this from resample to stretch. This way, our audio sample will stretch to match the tempo as we drop it down. Watch, if I play this and I bring this down to 96, you'll hear it slow down with the tempo. I can even bring it all the way down here. But we want to be up here at 96. All right, good. So we got that settled out. A part of the reason that we bounced this thing down to audio is because when we added all those effects, the reverb, the distortion and all that stuff, it's on tape. And now when we slowed it down, it adds some extra character to the effects that were like burned into that audio track, as opposed to just taking the clean keys and adding effects on here. We're stretching how those effects were printed to the audio file, and it's giving them some unique characteristics that I think fit the vibe we're going for. And if that's a little bit confusing, I could see why it would be, but try to soak that in for a minute and maybe it'll make some sense to you. All right, we created the melody, we slowed it down, and also taking influence from how the track was created, the Mob Deep track. Let's pitch this down as well, back into the channel. Let's bring the pitch range down to seven, and then let's turn this knob all the way down to the left, and let's take a listen. I think that sounded pretty good. Now it sounded like a sample. It sounded like we didn't make this with MIDI. It sounded like something we might've pulled off a of tape or off a of vinyl. This is our main sample that we're gonna use to build the rest of the beat around. And let's add some drums to it. 
All right, the drums we're going to use. If you want to make 90s style boom bap and you want some solid boom bap drums, Nomadic MPC drums, just go ahead and Google search this. Here's the website. As of the time of this video, it looks like it's 40 bucks. Go check it out. Those are the drums that we're going to be using in this track. All right, let's get into these drums. First, uh, let's create a pattern for our drums. We'll do it like this. We got drums. Let's do the hi-hat because it's easy. Nomadic hat dirty 09. Drop it right here on the hats. And actually, so we can listen to this, let's hop into the playlist. Let's grab our drums. Let's put them out here. I'm going to let the drums stretch twice the length of our audio file. So let's just grab that audio and paint it in over here as well. This is what's going to be looping while we're writing our drums. Make sure we're in song mode. Yes, we are. All right, let's draw these hats in. So first, I'm going to draw the hats in on the one, two, three, four. So one, two, three, four. Two, three, four. That's good. Control drag, shift drag, and then hold alt mouse wheel down. I make the volume of every other note a little bit lower than the last. So now they're like this. Just to make the velocities bounce a bit. And then we're going to copy those out all the way to the end. And I believe that stretches the span. No, it doesn't. Actually, that's only about half. So we're going to do this and we're going to copy it again. There we go. That's it for the hats, real simple. Let's throw the kicks on here. I'm gonna use Nomadic Kick Dirty 07. Yeah, that's dirty. We're just gonna do the drums all in one pattern for this video to keep it simple. Let's go into the piano roll. So as far as the influence goes, coming from the drums from the Mob Deep track, the drums don't match perfectly. But one thing I really did like is the rhythm of the kick drum in that track. And since drums are a type of thing where you really can copy drums, I mean, think about it. How many punk songs have you heard where the beat's just doo -doo -ch, doo -doo -ch, doo -doo -ch, or a straight one-two beat? Doo -tch, doo -tch, doo -tch, doo -tch. I mean, drums are drums, you know, they just keep the rhythm. So we're actually going to use that kick pattern from our reference track. Let's start here. And I want these kicks to slap a little bit. So I'm going to hold alt mouse wheel up and bring that kick all the way to the top. I'm going to draw these in and fast forward and show you the final product. All right. So here's the kick pattern. Let's listen. I want to point out what happened right here is listening to the reference track. I noticed that kick spot right here sounded like it might have been tuned down a bit. We're going to pull it down a little bit. We're going to Highlight all these and drag the velocity down on all of them. Now let's listen. Sounded good. Kick pattern, influence, all good. Let's move on to the next piece, which is snares. Another easy one to put in. We're going to use Nomadic Snare Dirty 03. Boom. And we're going to drop our snare. Let's see. So we want it here perfect now let's just copy that into the same spot sounded good those drums are dirty one thing i do notice is that they might be a little bit too dirty there's a really strong high frequency coming off of that kick drum so let's just take a look at that with eq really quick and let's go to parametric eq you see that there's a lot of activity in this side of the EQ and for me I'd like to pull some of that out so let's listen and pull some of that high off let me solo the kick while I do this because I noticed that there's also some of that high that really bright fuzzy sound coming from the hi-hats too so let's just listen to the kick yep All right, I think that sounds good for now. Let's throw some on the uh, hi-hat as well. Let's see if the hi-hat has that issue. That might work well. Let's listen to them all together now and see if that's okay. <laughs> 
that's it for the drums really simple drum beat kick snare hi-hat dirty sounding let's move on to the bass normally for the bass i would not use this plugin but since we're using fl keys which is the stock keyboard let's use boo bass which i believe is stock fl studio bass plugin it sounds sort of like an electric bass type bass that you could use this for hip-hop it's not the best sound of bass but let's see let's get into it first let's route it seven route selected channels there you go boo bass is on seven Oh, and before we do it, let's just make a pattern for the bass too, why not? Bass, keep things a little bit separate. And pull our bass out here. Let's just go the full length, why not? All right, now let's get into the notes, piano roll. So this is a common strategy with bass. Maybe you know about it, maybe you don't. But when you draw your bass notes in, draw them up higher than where you plan for them to actually be because it's easier to hear if the bass notes are in tune or not. That's high enough. Ultimately, I'm gonna want it down here but let's write it up here an octave higher than where we want it. You could even go two octaves higher if you want. Well, I can barely hear that. All right, so let's just do this. All right, we came up with this simple bass line. It matches the notes of the piano to a degree. Let's take a listen. That's it, real simple. Let's just leave it like that. Actually, what we're gonna do is select all of these and then hit control down. It drops them down an octave and now it's really where we need it to be. Now, since we are using boo bass, it's not the best sounding bass there is. In the mix, it actually doesn't sound too bad. Let's dirty it up and let's uh, make it stand out a little bit more. First, let's go with an EQ. Maybe that will help. Let's take a look at what's happening with it while the EQ is flat. On a reference track, the bass isn't really that prominent, but I say let's just go for it and make the bass stand out a little bit more. So let's pull up some of the low mids. bit extreme but let's just leave it right there now let's saturate these two as well let's use fruity fast distortion I'm trying to use stock plugins in this video <laughs> kind of had a feeling it was going to sound a bit like that let's dial it in that's not bad Let's solo it out and listen to the difference with these off and on. All right, how about we put the EQ on? Not much. Definitely got some rumble to it now and some dirt with the fruity fast distortion. I think it's good enough. Let's just leave it. So I think we have time to add one more little accent to this track. We're going to leave the bass just like that. Let's add one more keyboard sound going for a layer that kind of just adds ambience and maybe more like a sound effect but we're going to keep it really simple let's just add another fl keys we're going to leave these settings exactly as they are in default to keep it really simple let's channel route this over to eight let's right click and go to piano roll we're going to put a note up here on f7 i think because we tuned down the piano this note sounds a little bit off tune, so we're gonna try to even that out really quick by coming in here and play with this pitch. Using my ear, I think it sounds a little bit better pitched up a tad, but you know, cause we pitched that audio down, it doesn't line up perfectly with the key tuning by default, I think. That sounds better. I don't know. You guys let me know in the comments if I screwed it up or not, but we'll leave that note there. We're just going to add two notes just like this. Let's listen to them. That's cool. But now let's throw a little delay effect on there. Let's see if we could just throw it right on the insert. We'll go with fruity delay three default settings are on. Let's see how it sounds with the default settings on. Always a good idea to check that out first. You 
You know what? I think that works just fine. And as with all beats and any beats, there's so much more we could do with this if we wanted to. But I think for now, let's leave this one as is. Guys, let me know what you thought about this tutorial down in the comments. Don't forget to drop me a like and a sub. It really helps the channel, especially if you got something out of this video. I would really appreciate that. I'm going to let this beat play out at the end of this video. Guys, have a great day. Peace out. See you on the next one.